a married couple brings their friend, Eric, to a fancy steakhouse with a mysterious concept. They are immediately approached by a gallant waiter and welcomed into the steakhouse, where customers have the unique opportunity to be fully immersed in the entire process. Afterward, the waiter asks the customers to place their orders. Eric says he's heard about the local pork ribs, so that's what he'll opt for. His buddy agrees that the ribs are delicious here. When the waiter takes Eric's order, he smiles enigmatically and asks if this is Eric's first visit to the restaurant. He answers that yes, it is his first time. The waiter confirms that the selection is excellent and asks the new customer to follow. There is a look of surprise on his face as he sees his friends wishing him luck and promising to attend. The waiter takes Eric to a corridor, where he gives him an apron and a knife. Then he passes him through a service door and closes it behind him. A bright light suddenly illuminates the mysterious room, and the man realizes he has been left alone with an adorable live pig. When Eric becomes aware of the knife's purpose, he decides that he does not wish to participate and wants to bail, but suddenly he discovers that the door is locked. When he turned around, he stared at the pig, looked at the knife in his hand, and then looked back at the pig. He squats down and the pig, fearlessly approaches him. A smile spreads across his face as he petted the pig. Eric finally realizes that he cannot harm the defenseless pig, stands up abruptly, and throws the knife on the floor. Immediately a buzzer goes off and two butchers enter the room with the words another one. They ask if he is sure he doesn't want to kill the pig himself, and once Eric refuses, they confidently butcher the pig in front of him. After a short while, the waiter serves the guest a portion of mouth-watering ribs. But Eric is clearly in no mood and indeed has no appetite after what he's witnessed. In rapturous acclaim, his friends express that this is the first time they've tasted such fresh veal, and the whole process with the cow made them feel like primitive savages. Then they ask Eric if he enjoyed it, but based on the look on his face, there will be one more vegan in the world.